Alright? Wa kullun fi falaki yasbahun. Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala goes on. Wa ayatun lahum. Another amazing, mind-blowing sign for them, Allah says, is that we carried their forefathers. We carried their forefathers. In the ship that was completely full. In the ship that was full. What does the ship that was full refer to? We know this because in another place, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we're talking about Nuh alayhi salam, the ark of Noah. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about Nuh alayhi salam, He refers to the ark of Nuh alayhi salam as Al-Fulk al mashhoon the ship that was full. Alright, so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that another sign for them is that in this turbulent ocean, in a water, world full of water, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saved their forefathers. Allah could have eradicated all of humanity then and mankind would have ceased to exist. But Allah saved those people that, were, that are our forefathers. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saved them inside of a ship that was afloat in that water. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala goes on to say, وَخَلَقَنَا لَهُمْ مِنْ مِثْلِهِ مَا يَرْكَبُونَ And then we created for them more similar types of boats and ships that they are able to ride through the water in. Again, that's a blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah gave us the ability to be able to build and construct these boats and ships and we learned how to travel through the water, otherwise we would have been contained by the land masses. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us that as granted us that ability. But where we ride right on top of the water. But at the same time, what could happen very easily? Allah says, but if we wanted to, we could drown them. We could drown them. Fala Sarih means somebody to hear you scream. Somebody that can hear you scream. فَلَا صَلِيْخَ لَهُمْ There be nobody to hear their screams in the middle of the ocean drowning. وَلَا هُمْ يُنْقَذُونَ Nor could they ever be saved. There's nobody there to save them. إِلَّا رَحْمَةً مِنَّا The only thing that keeps us alive is the mercy from us. The only thing that keeps them alive, Allah says, is mercy from us. إِلَّا رَحْمَةً مِنَّا وَمَتَاعًا إِلَاحِينَ And the fact that maybe it's not time for somebody to go yet. It's not somebody's expiration date yet. So somebody's still got time written for them, destined for them. So the mercy of Allah and the fact that they still got time on the clock is why they might survive such an incident. Otherwise, if you were to be out in a boat, in a ship, in the middle of the ocean, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala could cause it to drown. You would drown, nobody would hear you scream, nobody would be there to save you. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saves you, rescues you, and allows you to continue. Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about all of this. Started on the earth, talked about what we see in the sky, night and day, sun, moon, stars, planets. Now he's talking about the ocean, all around you. All around you. Right, you see this element. And by the way, why does Allah use even the water and uh, moving about on the water when he gives the ocean? He talks about the ocean, and he talks about the ability to move on top of that water travel through that water, on top of that water, without drowning into that ocean. That's the parable of, 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 of the dunya. That's the example of the dunya. That's why the tasbih, the glorification, the remembrance of Allah comes from the word for swimming. Because the remembrance and the glorification of Allah gives you the ability to move through the dunya without drowning into it. That's why tasbih is called tasbih. From sabaha, to swim. It's what allows you to stay afloat in the dunya. So again, think about that same parable, that same example. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through the prophets, He taught us how to ride through the dunya, live in this world, move through the dunya without drowning into it. But if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not save us, we would drown into it.